Episode 125, Defeated Again. Aiden suddenly stretched out his left hand and firmly grabbed the dishonest hand. Ding! Successfully blocking the attack. Blocking ability increased by one level. Current progress, one out of ten. Current level, beginner level. The thug panicked. Just as he was about to pull his hand away, he felt as if his hand was tightly bound by an iron ring. No matter how hard he tried, he couldn't pull it out. Aiden's expression turned cold. He suddenly squeezed his fingers. Ding! Grip plus one. Current progress, one out of ten. Current level, beginner level. Ah! After the crisp sound of bones breaking, a miserable cry that sounded like a pig being slaughtered suddenly came from behind. Hmm. Use all of your despicable tricks, Aiden said. Aiden snorted coldly. Without turning his head, he activated his enhanced throwing ability. He grabbed the thug behind him and threw him out. The thug's body was like a sandbag as he flew high into the air and crashed onto a street machine beside him. With a bang, the street machine screen shattered. The thug lay on the ground, clutching his aching hand as he wailed. This series of shocking events seemed to take a long time. In fact, in the blink of an eye, the movements of his left hand didn't affect Aiden's right hand at all. His attacks were as fast as lightning, and his moves were as smooth as flowing water. Boom! As Jin Jiafan used the Dancing Phoenix Kick to completely end Iori Yagami's health bar, everyone turned Iori Yagami into a corpse in the blink of an eye. Amidst the loud cheers, Aiden stood up calmly and said coldly to Spike, You lost again. Spike looked at the street computer screen in a daze, as if he had lost his soul. How is that possible? How is this possible? Spike roared. Spike's face was filled with disbelief. Then, the disbelief turned into a ferocious expression. You must have cheated! Spike was shameless in his desire to cheat. His face was dark and ruthless. He said to his subordinates on the left and right, All of you, go and snatch this kid's phone! Oh no, Spike is going to be serious! Two fists can't fight four hands! This kid is finished! The crowd dispersed, shaking their heads. In the past, Spike had often done such shameless things. Relying on the fact that he had a lot of followers, he always flaunted his power in the game console hall. When ordinary people encountered so many people, they could not resist at all. They could only deem themselves unlucky. Although Jacob and Zack were trembling all over, they still stood close to Aiden. Nerd, remember to protect your face later. The two of them, who had some fighting experience, did not forget to tell Aiden. Aiden looked at the thugs who had surrounded them, and a disdainful smile appeared on his face. He pushed his hands back gently, and Jacob and Zack felt their bodies involuntarily take a few steps back. In the arena, Aiden was the only one left to face the group of vicious thugs. Nerd, what are you doing? Jacob and Zack cried out in shock. They could only watch as Aiden was approached by a group of thugs. They closed their eyes subconsciously. They could not bear to see Aiden being beaten until his flesh was torn open. Several fists approached, but Aiden was not in a hurry. His eyes focused and instantly saw through the trajectory of the opponent's punches. With the slight movement of his body, he activated the strengthening evasion ability. All the punches in the sky brushed past his body. Seeing Aiden was like a slippery fish cutting through the gaps between their bodies. Spike thought that they hadn't used their full strength yet. Immediately, he cursed. What are you all doing? Hurry up and hit him! 